Hi friends, I am Tinash. In this video, we will learn about SQL queries with live examples. We will start with what is SQL and about the SQL queries and comments like select, where, count, update and insert. Then what is table, field, record or row, column and null values. We will look into that one by one. Before moving to that, already I have uploaded few videos for Excel and HTML and Automation Anywhere downloads and Excel dashboards and HTML and JavaScript and everything I have uploaded. When you have a chance, please like and subscribe. We'll move to the SQL part. So first, what is SQL? SQL is a structured query language, which is a computer language. And whenever you have a database, you need a SQL queries to manipulate the data. Like if you want to update or delete anything in the database, you need a SQL queries to work on that even if it is a MySQL database or Access database or Oracle or anything, you need a SQL commands. So we'll start one by one. First, we'll look into the SQL commands. So what are all the SQL commands we have? So data definition language, we have three commands, create, alter, and drop. And data manipulation language, we have three, insert, update, and delete. Then data control language, we have two commands grant and revoke. Then data query language, it's most useful commands like select. We are using select as in the most SQL commands. So we'll start with each and everything in the live examples. All the way I have a Excel VBA codes here in the live examples. I will show you. I have created a sample access database. So I'll manipulate the data using the Excel VBA codes. So I'll show you one by one. Before that, I'll in the raw data, I'll show you how the select statement and how the other statements are working. So the select statement, you need to use select column, then from table name. So you need to use like this condition, or else you can use, instead of column, you can use select star. Star, which means it will capture, it will fetch all the data. So instead of column, you can use star. But if you want to specific any column or any data, you need to use select column condition. Then SQL where condition. Where condition is most important condition. Here it's select column from table name and where. Where is in the sense, you know, if you have a year. So if you want to particular year is equals to 2016 or 2020, you can use the where condition and greater than and less than, you can use multiple conditions within the where class, and, 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 or class. So here is that, select from where condition, then and, and, or condition. So here, you, in the where condition, you can apply, and, or, you can use, and between. In the where class, you need to use between condition. So like, if you have a value from 100 to 1000, if you want to filter out by, between 1 to 5, you can use between condition, like. So in the example, in the description, you will have more than 2,000 text. But if you want to find particular characters or particular values, you can use the like conditions. Using that, you can fetch all the information, so order by. So it's most important condition, order by. After the where, you need to use order by, which means uh, in, the, in your database, the dates are unordered. So when you are fetching the data, it will appear like top to bottom and everything will be random. If you want to order by ascending or descending, you can use the order by condition and group by count. So select count of column name. Here you need to use only one column. You cannot use multiple columns for the count condition. Having a create table, even you can create a table using this create table condition and insert into. So here insert into, then you need to use the table name, then which column, and then values. You need to update all the details and delete. Even you can delete particular records from the database. You can use that. We'll move to the database. So here I have a database. So this is the table test. Test is my table, and these are all records. Records are rows. I have eight records 
in my database these are all columns okay so i'll open my vba queries so for the vba queries first you need to declare all the record set connections as well as the adob record set you need to declare and i'll paste this code in my description if you need please copy and paste it in your visual basic editor so first you need to declare and then you need to use the select or count or insert into anything you can use that here i have a select condition where condition count and order by insert into and update conditions for example so we'll start one by one and you need to provide the database path you need to provide the full path you cannot ignore anything since uh, in the excel file as well as the database it has the uh, same folder even you need to mention the full path then only the connection will be works so the, here the connection string if you are using the office 365 or later version you need to use oledb.12.0 since i am using the existing version very old version so i am using the jet oledb 4.0 and you need to new adapt connection and new record set that's it once you have completed even you can get the values in the particular uh, default variable particular variable or else you can assign the values into the sheets so first we'll start with the select statement select query so i'll step by step i'll run this code first the sql query selecting the fetching the details in the four columns i have it year goal price final state final status and date one from test it will fetch all the informations in the database in the database i have eight records so it will fetch all the informations so as i mentioned here you can see it will fetch the first value so the test value is 1990 since the zero i have mentioned zero and even you can mention it as the heading year 1 so it will show you so if you want to see one by one you need to use the do while or for condition then you will get one by one values in the variable but i want to but now i want to paste all the values in my sheet so here you can see all the values are fetched and pasted in the excel spreadsheet using the select condition and then next one main thing is you need to close the connection and the record set once the code has been completed you need to close the record set why we are closing this is if the another user is trying to update or you know manipulate anything they cannot do that since you have opened the worksheet open the database so you need to close the connection so now i have closed the connection and delete the data in the worksheet next i will use the where condition so i'll show you how the where condition is working so like the select the same from test where final status is equals to closed so here you can see i have a final status field and closed status i need all the closed i have four closed in the final status record so i'll i need all the closed status in my workbook so i'll run this code once again here you can see all the four records were only fetched and updated in the sheet i'll clear this one next one is count so if you want to see particular count like where condition using the where or if you want to see all the database count yes you can using the count condition it for that select count of any particular column you need to select then from table name then where condition if you want to apply the where condition yeah you can use that so previously i have validated i have uh, in the final state final status field i have four closed four closed values right 1 2 3 4 i have four closed status so i need the count over here 
So using this you can get the count. Here you can see 4, it is reflecting as 4 as well as you can update the values in the sheet. So now I will clear, I will close the record set and I will clear everything, cleared. Then we will use the order by, so order by as I mentioned earlier, we are using the order by because of you know, here you can see it is not in the order, dates are uh, random randomly updated so it is not in the order when you are fetching the data if you need it should be in the order then you need to use order by condition. So select column values from table name then where final status is equal closed the same thing four values then order by date 1 which is our table record table field and if you want to show this in an ascending order or descending order you can use it. For ascending you need to use ASC, for descending order you need to use DESC. Now I want ascending order, so I will use this one. So I will run this code step by step. It is running but uh, I am getting some errors, I have to check. Command text was not set for the command object. Where final status is equal to order by date 1 is equal to ascending order. Everything is right. Okay, I guess I deleted a yes. Now it will work the same condition. Here you can see all the values are fetched by the ascending order 28, 1, 2020, then the orders. Here you can see the month wise orders. Perfect. I got a data and I will close the record set. Clear the values. Next, we will use the insert into statement. So, for the insert into statement, you need to use insert into command. Previously, we have used only the select column name and the table, then where conditions. But here you need to use insert into your table name. This is the table name, then values. So, what are the values you need to, if you are going to insert. So, here I have only 8 records, right. So, I need to add one more record here with the following details. In the year 1 field, I need to update as 2016 and date 1, I need to update as today's date. So, I will show you, I will run this code step by step. Done. It successfully added into the database. So, once it is done, just close the database and close. Here you can see one more record has been added, 2016 and the date, today's date has been updated in my database. It is done. We will move to the next one. Yeah, next one is SQL update. Already we have seen about other items like select, where, count and insert into. The update statement helps to update your existing records. So, if you want to update your existing database records, like if you want to change particular record, particular value, you can do it using the update command. In order to use the update command, you need to use update your table name and set, you need to set the values. Now, I want to update status is equal to, final status is equal to my name, where year 1 is equal to 2016. So, I will show you the data in the database. So, where is it uh, 2016? Yeah, in the fourth record, the year 1 is 2016 and I want to change the final status value from closed to Tinash. So, I will show you how it is working. Step by step, I am running the codes. So, condition update test is equal to 
thin ash where year 1 is equals to 2016 so it's done it's updated now so i'll close the record set so here i am updating the values so it will not in the db record set you cannot use the db record set you need to ignore directly jump into the close record sets done i have updated the values here you can see in the final status is reflecting as thin ash before it was closed it's updated like this uh, we can use many conditions as i mentioned earlier i will paste this code in the description please use it really thanks for watching when you have a chance please like and subscribe and, and also watch all of my previous videos really thank you for watching keep in touch with me thank you bye bye